all right don manchi season four episodes 10 and 11 don't forget to check out that patreon for the early access and uncut versions of all reactions on the channel please leave a like on this video and let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section it really does help boost the channel and the video let's hop right into today's episode so let's do it all right here we go juggernaut the destroyer mari hates this sound i would be too 100 percent Yeah, I was about to say, it sounds like people screaming. You ever heard a mountain lion cry? It sounds like a woman getting murdered. Aisha, your expertise say anything? Nope, not even she knows. She's the highest level, highest experience of our group. This is the utter despair that she was dreaming about. The harbinger of doom and death. Red eyes, black dragon? What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? That legit looks like Red Eyes Black Dragon's body. Okay. It's Red Eyes Black Dragon. Joey Wheeler. Oh, she's in half. Oh, she's in half. Oh my God. That's one of the darker things. That's multiple halves. So much death and destruction. Oh my god, it is literally mowing people down. That's what I assumed. The same, that's why she said, oh, Elise. I'm assuming Elise was someone in her familia. Yeah, the entire familia died from this creature. The grave. That was a long time ago. I never at the time thought we would I thought this that would that was all we would touch on. We would never actually go deep into it, but I'm really enjoying that we are. So they didn't even know about the creature. They just intended on blowing up blowing up the floor and leaving him to die. No, it wasn't even a part of their plan, it just happened. No one had even heard of this thing before. That's why O'Rannell's called it a thing. Is it really not documented? <laughs> this should be interesting. I only say that because I know for a fact we're going to be able to take care of this creature and take it down. But it's always amazing how we do it. No. Okay, buddy. You can suck me. You think you're going to tame that thing. You can't be serious. Completely. Are you outside of your mind? Imagine shitting and pissing yourself and then being amazed by something like that. I'm not one to advocate for whatever, but he needs to be not alive. <laughs> Yeah, but I think this creature is on a whole different level than the Lambton. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could just go to him, chop his head off before? I mean, he already summoned it, damn, I was about to say. It's already here, here. There's nothing we can do about it being here. I'm just hoping none of these guys right here die. Aisha, Welf, Haruhime, Chigusa, Uka, all, you know? Mm -mm. None of them. None of them. And because of her vision, she's like, if you guys go down there, you will die. But because it's not you guys in my dream, other people are dying right now instead. She feels horrible about that because she couldn't have stopped either way. But that's one of the curses of being blessed with visions, you know? A lot of the time, there's nothing you could do. Are you going to go help? Are you going to go do what you can? Find him? Yeah. Wow. Wow. 
So if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Like lead, Ray, all of them. Oh, understandable, completely. I see. I see. Speak of the devil, there they are. Doing their best, is doing their work. Randos can see. Now, if you're trying to tell me this particular creature has wiped out the entire Astria family and who knows how many other pe things, people, and Bell and Ryu are going to take it down, oh my god, is this going to be one of the craziest fights? I'm praying that's what happened. Plethora of people. Boars, the entire squad, are running into... Oh, he's dead. Yep. Don't kill. Okay, she's dead. It looks like a dragon, but it's like skeletal system. Juggernaut. Oh, that's a horrible name. What does it mean? I'm the juggernaut, bitch! This is actually one of the most brutal fights I've seen in Don Machi. This is not. I actually liked her. She only tried to talk for a little bit. But. Of course, he falls right in front of. Holy shit, his neck is backwards. No hesitation. Bell goes right up to this thing. It's speed, that was ridiculous. Bell immediately goes in on its foot. Beyond a floor boss. Jesus. Jesus. No, this literally feels impossible. It can reflect magic. It's like Persona when... <laughs> People are, there are certain bosses that are just OP. It literally has a magic reflector. I never would have thought we'd Bell would. Bruh. I was so eagerly anticipating how we were going to beat this thing in like a positive way. And now I'm like, what the fuck? Bell's knocked out. With no arm. And the fight just started. What the fuck? All right. Next episode. This one is endless. Brutal. Bell is... I don't I don't even know what to think. We need to immediately cauterize that wound if we can. Stop the bleeding. Put on pressure. That's why. I literally thought he got his neck snapped. But that scarf that he also was able to use as a weapon was a great defensive option. Wow. Bell would be so dead. Just utter and complete death from this thing. Oh, God. Good save, Ryu. Don't want boars to die. I don't think you're going to be able to stop this thing either. It's so fucking fast. It is so fast. Too strong. Now, you know who I'd be curious about fighting this thing? Like Otaro. And I, I really want to see how a really strong character can face against this thing. Because he is super OP. No, you guys don't know. That's only going to come back at you. They hit you guys with a reflect. 
Bro, it looks... I hope that's how Marie finds him. Marie, save this man, please. Bro, if Boars and all of them are just... Okay, he's still alive. He blocked himself with a magical item that is now gone. But everyone else who's just with him... Cooked. Ooh. Thank you for the save. Yes. We have to, like, run for it right now, because this thing is something else. Hopefully we can put it together by now that she's not a murderer, and she's cool. She's literally risking her life to save ours. Come on, boars, we gotta go. That is a broken knee. Yeah, can Jura come tame it like you said you wanted to? I want to see you die. I'm, I'll be down. Come tame it. Come on, buddy. Oh, everyone else at the bar, the tavern. Hurry in that water. Come help our man. The fact that he's just floating with an arm lost is so crazy. She found his arm. And mermaid blood heals are like phoenix tears is it like a back to tank in star wars oh marie she is so clutch even more blood she's just literally doing anything she can to save him i didn't know mermaid blood could heal First off, that's awesome. Second off, shout out, huge shout out to Marie for cutting herself like that multiple times in order to save us. That's an amazing shot right there. He's awake. He's opening his eyes, seeing that Marie's the one who saved him. He's probably not going to be able to breathe. Right. Get your knife back. Thank you, Marie. Very much so. As she, as she sends us back to the service to do our job and don't lose, exactly. Thank you so much, Marie. I still can't even see us beating this thing. I really don't know how. She's like, how? And we're going for it. It is so fast. Okay, block with a scarf, block with a knife. Goliath scarf. Come on. Okay, that's the resolve. That's the willpower. Bell's a part of willpower alum. Shout out, shout out Rob City. That's what I'm saying. This thing's already inferior to our the people we respect and want to fight the most. This thing's nothing now. We see it as lesser. Facts. Fight to the very last swing of our sword. Is he gonna try to make it pierce through? As it's reflected back at Bell, he imbues it with his knife. Anytime they play this bell, you know when fucking Argo Vest is coming. With the music so triumphant. With the scarf wrapping. Closing the distance, also making it so he can't get away and move. I got goosebumps right now. Bro, if he actually one shot that I mean, technically it wasn't one shot, he hit him a bunch of times, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. This fucking guy Bell, I tell ya. I was gonna say it's in the dirt, but it ain't dead yet. God damn it. That was like our our ace. Our ultimate. We're done for. We need eyes or someone to pull up. Oh, it's Harl. Is that Fells? 
Is that Jura? It's Jura trying to do his thing. He waited until the best opportune moment. It's either going to obey or it's going to kill Jura immediately. Yeah. You ever play Pokemon and try to command a Pokemon when its level's too high for you? Mm. So this is how it happens. Ours are... Yeah, no types. Jura, you're a fucking idiot. And the fucking Limba... Whatever... Lambton is still alive. Yeah, when he just slapped the ground. Like, what the fuck is going on? And then it dives down too? And the lamb thing can go between floors, right? So where are we going? I actually am on Cassandra's side. Knowing what she knows, you know? But I do want them to help Bell, so it's like a 50-50, you know. Oh, I think something's gonna make it so you can't stay here. Is the Lambton gonna come up? So with the Lambton, with the creature that the dungeon itself made, I thought this was gonna be one of them, but this is the Rex? What is the show? What are we doing? What are we supposed to do? It has two heads, is what it looks like. Talk about complete and utter devastation. And we're in water now. What the fuck, Don Machi? The floor boss or a group of like seven people. Meanwhile, we have the Lambton and oh my God, the monster Rex of the 27th floor Amphisbina. It is the harbinger of doom, the bringer of death, a banquet tragedy. Are you shitting me? So it looks like we have an after credit scene. We got the Lambton falling through. Is it dead or unconscious? I thought it was just chilling. It looks dead as fuck. Nope. Oh, because it ate us and we killed it from the inside. Book of Judas or Book of Jonah. Yeah, do we finally make it down to 28, 29? We might not. Have, there's no water. It's not blue like it was earlier. Yeah, much like a video game. That's not where we're at right now, right? That's not where we're at right now. Don't say that. No. When you say Milky White is in the palace, I need to relook at where we're at now. Don't tell me. Don't say that. Don't say that. 37. We're in the deep floors. You run into any creature here, you're dead. Uh, now, Don Machi, I must must praise you guys. You guys have balls for willing to go even beyond. Like normally we get a little bit of shittiness and then, oh, we come up, we're on top. But no, we get shittiness and they keep throwing us with shittiness. And they're like, hey, you done with the shittiness? No, you're not. We got more shittiness. So I don't know how this is going to go. I have no predictions, no absolute guess. But all I know is I'm in, I'm in for the ride. I'm here for it. And I'm, I'm buckled in. This is going to be a ride. This looks like my fucking sling. No, this is my seatbelt. I'm buckled in. Oh my Lord. I was so happy when Bell did this Argo Vesta after Maurice healed him. And I was like, oh, we finally did it. We're good. Chilling. Yes. No, but maybe so. I don't know. These episodes are crazy. I'm really glad I'm watching it though. Better late than never. If you guys enjoyed and want to continue checking out the full uncut versions, check out that Patreon down below. Other than that, have a great day, Dapper Squad. I appreciate y'all immensely. Peace out.